In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for your Shopify store. Uh, so first thing that we need to do to install Google Ads conversion tracking, we need to go to tools and settings inside Google Ads and click conversions. Here we need to click a new conversion action and choose website. Then I enter my website domain and click scan. Uh, here I go to create conversion action manually using code and click at a conversion action manual. Here I need to select a category. In our case, it will be purchase. Under value, I need to use, use different values for each conversion. Everything else is fine and uh, here we need to click done. Uh, then I click save and continue. Google Ads provides instruction how to install conversion tracking. So the first thing that we need to do is to copy this piece of code and paste it on every page of our website immediately after head element. So I copy and inside Shopify, I click online store theme. Uh, here click three dots, click edit code and under sim liquid under head tag i install our piece of code and click save and then i go to exit go to settings and uh, check out and accounts scroll down below uh, under order status pages and additional scripts you may have additional scripts so i just uh, paste the same piece of code below then I go back to my Google Ads account. Uh, now we need to install event snippets on our website that will track purchase. I can click here, see event snippets. And this is our event snippet, but you will see that some values here, static, like value, currency and transaction ID. That's why what you need to do to make it dynamic is to go to my website. I will leave uh, the links in the description below and copy the event snippets code from there. Then jump back into Shopify and paste it below uh, the main Google Tag script. And here I need to update uh, two variables. So I go back to Google Ads, close this window, click use Google Tech Manager and here I need to copy conversion ID and uh, conversion label. So I copy conversion ID, paste it right here. Then I copy conversion label and paste it here. And then I need to click save. In Google Ads I, I click done. So and now you can see that uh, purchase conversion action has been added. and we can start tracking our transactions values inside Google Ads. And uh, let me show you another way how to set up uh, Google Ads conversion tracking using import transaction data from Google Analytics account. If I click uh, new conversion action and choose import, I can use either uh, Google Analytics Universal or Google Analytics 4, I will use J4. Let me choose web property, continue. And here you can see I can import my purchase action. This way I also can uh, track purchases. But uh, pay attention that you will need to use only one method to track your conversion values, not double count your transactions. But uh, in my configuration, uh, it is fine because action optimization uh, for uh, import from GA4 is secondary. It, it won't use to optimize bidding and campaign performance. So make sure that you only got one primary conversion action uh, for your Google Ads account. If you want to make uh, conversion action primary or secondary, you can click on it, uh, click edit settings and here you can select uh, primary action or secondary action. So I hope this video was useful. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about e-commerce analytics. But, uh, if you want to level up your analytics, then check my free e-commerce data infrastructure guide for Shopify store.